Mayo? Present. Trustee Duncan? Here. Trustee Grandin? Here. Trustee Martinson? Here. Trustee Mitchell? Okay, and Trustee Saylor? Here. And Trustee Mitchell has a excused absence tonight. Uh, if you would please join me, we'll rise and have the pledge of allegiance. And I would ask you to uh, stay standing for a brief moment of silence to honor those that paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. I Just a couple. 
comment about the First Amendment and that in, in making sure that we do everything on our, sh our shirt and coat sleeve. Um, I think in the past year, the sport has you know, sh given a good example that we want engagement, we want discussion, and when we have it, we want to do everything right. So if uh, you uh, think that we might not be up to stuff on certain issues, I would certainly hope that those in attendance or that will watch this on WRCM, uh, our phone numbers are all listed on the webpage, which Trustee Saylor and Kim Holcomb have done a heck of a job, a lot of information on there, and um, our numbers are there, give us a call. If it's in October, green duck season, I will get back to you. Be a little busy in the meantime. And then also, um, the distinguished gentleman sitting over to my left, uh, Mike Corman is our new village administrator. Uh, we're glad to have you, Mike. Uh, I'm sure we'll have some good discussions as we go on, the board and group and stuff. But, but um, uh, I appreciate your outgoing personality, and I've received comments from, from people in town. So we like to welcome you. Yeah, it's, uh, everyone's been very welcoming, lots of people stopping by. Good. It's been great. Good. And if you ever find a good crappy spot up on Shell Lake, let me know. There's a property for sale. Pardon, ma'am? There's a property for sale up there. You're trying to get rid of me, and I know that. All righty, enough for me. I've talked long enough. Uh, committee reports. We'll go to the airport commission, and Trustee Martinson, please. The uh, Airport Commission met on March 1st, and at that particular meeting, they had an airport manager's report. Um, airport manager Sickler presented his February report. Um, he relayed that that month his focus was primarily on planning the development projects. He provided an update on the plans to crack, fill the two. 20 runway and taxiway to reconstruct the 12 to 30 runway this spring and the construction of the parallel tax with the taxiway A in 2019. He also provided an update on the state aid projects, which is to be constructed um, fall of 2018 and spring of 2019. Um, they discussed hiring a part-time seasonal employee. And in old business, they discussed the capital equipment items to include a purchase of a zero-turn mower uh, for the price of $10,896. New business, they talked about snow removal procedures and expectations as they move forward and discussed how to improve the snow removal and procedures um, for next year. And hopefully there won't be much more that we have to do with that this year. So that was the March 1st meeting. They did review the financial reports as well. Um, other than that, that was about it. Um, for the March 15th meeting, they went into a closed session and um, that information was obviously discussed in private. So I will make a motion at this time to approve the minutes of the Airport Commission. Second. A motion by Trustee Martinson to approve the March 1st and March 15th uh, 2018 Airport Commission minutes. Second by Trustee Duncan. Any discussion? Was it fast enough? Was it fast enough? My second was it fast enough? I, didn't I mention your second? Yes. Oh, it was fast enough. Yes. 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 All right. Yeah. You'll, you'll I thought up. I was hearing voices, but I wasn't. No, no, no. You'll, you'll catch up. Any discussion outside of me not hearing Mr. Duncan? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Circuit Committee, Chairman Bingham. Uh, the Streets, Infrastructure, Recreation, and Cemetery Committee met on March 20th, 2018. Uh, there were no public comments at that particular meeting. Uh, ben Martinson updated me on the Port Edwards Baseball Association work on the baseball fields, putting up a scoreboard on field two and another dugout on field three, and then that is at their cost of the Port Edwards uh, Baseball Association. Uh, we opened proposals for a new truck. We received three, and in a meeting tonight, uh, upon review of the specs and uh, we took the low bid, it met our uh, specifications. Uh, the, 
committee recommends that to the board that we approve uh, a quote from V and H Ford for a 2004 F350 for $30,670. Motion by yes. Chairman Bigham to approve the uh, V&H quote for the 2018 Ford F-350 for $30,670. That was seconded by Trustee Duncan. Anybody wishing to speak on this motion? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Uh, we also had a summer help update. Uh, we have two returning. We bring in three summer help students for the summer. We had two returning, and we did post that. I had not received an update. Uh, Mike or Dell, have we do have we received some? We have received applications. Yes. Okay. The number I'm not sure. Okay. Which is good. Okay. Thank you. And that will be taken care of by. Okay, uh, some update. Uh, the brush pickup started on 321, then it went back to snow removal shortly after that. <laughs> who knows Who knows when the next brush pickup will happen because they'll be plowing snow, it looks like, a couple more times. July. July. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jason Leverance from the uh, Streets Department will start at, on the wells on May 20th. He's been shadowing Jim Leiser, who will retire his last day is June 1st. Uh, there was a question on streets that aren't posted. Load limits are off unless regulated by the village. The village could follow the state's limit timeline, but that will require an ordinance, which we don't have at this particular time. Okay. Uh, we're in the process of uh, hiring process in the, for a public works employee. Uh, we will be interviewing five applicants for that position that is open as a result of uh, Mr. Leiser's retirement for a laborer on April 25th. We'll be interviewing five. Uh, didn't receive any correspondence to the committee. survey for splash pad interest at the polling place and online. Uh, thanks to Eric for his work on that. He's going to compile the information and at the next CERC meeting we'll take it, we'll review that particular data. Uh, with that being said, I would ask that there be a motion to approve the minutes of the CERC committee from March 20th. Motion by Chairman Bingham and Second. seconded by Trustee Duncan to approve the minutes of the uh, CERT meeting. Is there any discussion? Hearing no request, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Um, planning and Property and Information Technology, Chairman Martinson. Thank you. Um, the Planning, Property, Insurance, and Technology Committee met on March 27th. Um, we discussed uh, the resident, uh, we had a resident to express concerns about the village's snow removal policy. Um, we listened to that conversation and um, there is going to be a review policy regarding snow removal and notice to rental um, individuals as well as property owners. So that will be discussed at a later date, later meeting. Um, we had a presentation discussion of the update on the VMI property. Scott Harrington gave an update on the public hearing that was held on the VMI rezoning and the recommendations of the Planning Commission hope to have an amended developer's agreement ready by May or June for the committee's review. We received an opportunity zone grant and will be participating in a new market equity project. Both of these will be advertised on the village's website um, when we have more information. 
There was a discussion um, and recommendation on the short-term rental ordinance. Um, Laura Lightfear, who has been working for the village, explained the ordinance and pointed out that you can only regulate when rented for more than seven days per year. Um, with that being said, um, I would like to make a motion to approve the short-term rental ordinance. Motion by Chairman Martinson to have a second. Second. Second by Trustee Grundon to approve the short-term rental ordinance. Um, we have that. And uh, I would ask any discussion. Mr. Burney. Thank you. If you would step over to the, the podium, we'd appreciate that way the camera can. Absolutely. Um, I made notes so that I would brief. So that's why I'm stuck in reading the center. Uh, my name is Patrick Norby. I'm a cabin on 270 Nepco Lake Road. Uh, I've been renting it on a short-term basis since fall of 2017. Um, I believe I'm the only person in the village currently operating a short-term rental. Um, or at least I haven't been able to find anyone else doing it. Um, since fall of 2017, I've rented my cabin a total of 15 nights paid. Um, and they bought them two night stays or less. Um, I'd like to speak to the short-term rental ordinance being proposed um, and the consequences of, of passing it. Um, and I think it only affects me as far as I know. Um, as someone who only intends to do this on a sort of a selected limited rental, um, the ordinance is gonna make the process burdensome enough where I'm gonna have a choice between discontinuing them altogether or turning it over to some sort of property management company. Um, <coughs> And that detracts from the personal nature of home rentals. I think they're unique and they're different from a resort or from a hotel. Um, I've been really surprised at how respectful my guests have been and how the condition they left the property. Um, and I think that's because of the per personal nature. Um, and I think that that ordinance is going to put that in jeopardy and make it either not at all or something that's more of a, of a formal business. Um, I have a couple requests. Um, ideally, the board would realize that this process is um, a nine-page ordinance or the search for a problem to solve. Um, I don't perceive a problem. Um, and you would vote no on this and, and not pass the ordinance. Um, but um, I figure that's probably pretty unlikely to happen. Um, so I do have a couple other uh, suggestions. I think that could make it uh, more workable uh, for everyone. Um, one would be to allow the owner of a single property that rents for a short period of time or sort of select, maybe 30 nights or less, uh, in a calendar year be exempt from the ordinance. Um, and that's not to say that they would be unregulated. Uh, the county currently does an inspection of short-term property rentals and licenses them. Um, that's a process I went through in the fall, um, and it's uh, fairly painless, and that would allow people who just have one place that they use themselves and they want to let some other people use it a couple nights a year, um, operate or serve uh, without undue ordinance on top of it. Um, and then you keep that personal feel. Um, and the second request is to allow some sort of a grace period if we enact the ordinance to, to give me um, a chance to one, honor commitments that I have for the summer, um, as well as then decide if I'm even gonna continue on uh, in the wake of having the ordinance passed. Um, I'd be happy to answer questions about what I've been doing. Um, other than that, I, I thank you for your time. Any board members wish to direct a question to Mr. Norby? Michael, that includes you. Sorry. <laughs> Trustee Martinson. Thank you. How many commitments do you have for this summer? I have one. I have a, a retired couple from Arizona who um, wants to spend four weeks up here visiting family. Um, and I would hate to put them out. And when? It's uh, July, mid part of July to August. And that's another commitment I have. So for the uh, continuous four week period, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, a written agreement with them? So all I'm really asking for is that I not have to be completely compliant until the end of the year, just because I don't know how long it's going to take. 
Trustee Duncan. Um, the only thing I can say on this is that, again, this situation calls for, I'm obviously not the village's attorney, but I still am an attorney. And technically, if he has a contract that predates the ordinance, I don't think we have the ability to cancel it out. I think that his contractual rights supersede the implementation of the ordinance, so we at least have to honor that contract before it goes through. It's basically ex post facto, which, and I have to note that I have to state that I swear to uphold the Constitution of the United States, and that's in the Constitution that you can't pass retroactive laws. Did you have something? Any other trustee? Okay, I'm going to ask you, uh, uh, Mr. Apps, to venture in towards uh, Trustee Duncan's comment. And then also, um, I've asked Nick to prepare a little brief for uh, his views on the ordinance itself. Mr. Apps. Well, I guess first regarding uh, Trustee Duncan, um, there, the, it's really circumstantial whether it's considered a taking. If this would be considered a property right, then I agree it would definitely be a taking. Um, uh, to be honest, this hasn't been an issue that's been put to me, and, and uh, I can't say for certain. I, certainly, um, there's there's potentially a, a, a risk that the village would be uh, that the village would be exposed to some liability. Although I imagine that the that that would be limited by the extent of Mr. Norby's actual losses in this case. Um, as far as the um, some of the other specifics of the ordinance, well, generally speaking, um, and I think maybe a lot of this was covered last week or two weeks ago when I was gone, so I'll be very brief. Um, the the short-term rental ordinances are becoming more uh, common around Wisconsin. With the, the reasoning seeming to be that there's uh, there are communities that want to. Um, either resist uh, the Airbnb phenomenon or, or and the like uh, of, of just renting out houses or even rooms uh, on a single night basis, or um, the kind of weekend cabin <coughs> type situation that Mr. Norby had, is talking about. Um, as far as whether, I mean, I've, I've reviewed the ordinance itself. There isn't anything in the ordinance that, that violates what state law permits now. So the, um, with the caveat that Mr. Duncan's question, um, that I, I'm not able to answer that tonight to anyone's satisfaction, probably, uh, without looking into that specific issue, um, the ordinance could be passed and is legal. Um, upon being enacted. Now, there's nothing to say that, I mean, the motion can be amended um, the, the, uh, to allow for a grace period in the implementation of the actual ordinance if the village were wanting to do that. Uh, otherwise, of course, the same other uh, the same other options under Robert's rules apply, such as uh, laying the motion on the table, sending it back to committee, and so forth. Um, as, as far as any of the other issues that uh, Mr. Norby had mentioned in terms of exemptions, that would require a modification of the ordinance itself and couldn't be done at this meeting. That would, we'd have to go back and um, pro that probably would require it having to go back to committee. So as far as the, the as far as the rental ordinance uh, goes, um, the only thing I other thing I cannot speak to is uh, the nature of any questions that were raised in the meeting when I was uh, out of town two weeks ago. So if there was anything there that needs to be discussed here, I, I can't speak intelligently. Thank you, Mr. Apps. Anybody else that requested a chance to speak, would you like to speak now? No, I'm saying that oh, I, I just had a question. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, um, as of now, uh, everything will be back on the table, okay? So thank you, Trustee Duncan. Is, um, is it possible to amend the ordinance so that there's a, a date that it takes effect instead of it being immediate? you could amend it to take effect at some point into the future. Uh, certainly it could be it could be amended. I mean the ordinance itself um, amendment of the ordinance itself at this time and at this meeting. Yeah, I don't care. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm just. Well, I, I, in, in terms of um, the ordinance the, itself can't be amended without having to be published again. But if the um, right. if the if there were to be a decision to amend the motion to <coughs> to call for the ordinance not to be. Uh, not to be put in place tonight or to be uh, delayed in its implementation since there isn't actually a date listed in the ordinance. Um, it was intended to be effective immediately. Um, so it can be adopted or, I, I mean, we can, there, there, are, there are options as far as that goes. But it really, uh, the easiest way is probably to, um, if it's not going to be passed tonight, to probably um, refer, to refer it back to committee. Any other trustees? Um, as I understand it, you know, the, the situation that is entered to us is that there is going to be a four week period where it's going to be rented to the same person, which would not really fall under the, the new ordinance. But the situation that is brought to us now is the fact that um, providing all the information and getting everything else in order so that um, he could have the, the, the individual or family rent for that four week period. Is there any way that we could possibly allow him to rent it out, being that he does have the agreement, in all fairness to the family that's going to have it for four weeks, they've made their plans for the summer. Um, and can we, is there anything we can do to allow that and still pass the ordinance? I mean, you'd, be, you'd be talking about a waiver. Um, uh, of, of some of the other items. I mean, I'm certain that there's some things that, that could be done. Um, maybe, you know, finding a, an individual to manage the property for that period might not happen. Uh, yes, go ahead. The, uh, most of the requirements in the ordinance cannot, don't have a provision for being individually waived, um, with the reason being that <coughs> everything on a case-by-case -case basis, there isn't really a need for an ordinance anyway. I mean, it, it, you know, you can you can be concerned about precedent, perhaps. But, um, although this being a unique situation, might be different. But um, I think that's that's probably one of the less efficient ways to go about it. If uh, um, I mean, it would be just as easy to delay the implementation. Then I mean, I, I think then I'd be concerned about the village taking responsibility also for some things that are. Um, I, I don't know that it's, uh, I think there's a potential liability issue with, with benefiting individual property owners uh, to the exclusion of others. Eric, Tierra, or John? Anything to say? Um, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm for, you know, I don't like, like uh, Luann said, you know, this, this family is already committed, you know, they're coming up here four weeks is a long time. If we do decide to delay it or whatever, and it does, I mean, if we do pass it with a delay in there, um, that you can't, that you would not be able to, to book more time in there with other families, saying that we have a contract now and it's not gonna get money until then. You know, this would be like a one-time deal, so. And the other thing is, is I appreciate Mr. Norby and the rest of the residents over there. I mean, you guys are actually working together. I mean, I've been a part of some things where some words and, and fists and stuff have been, not fists, but, you know, the harsh words have been said because one way feels strongly about one, one thing and the other group feels strongly about another thing. And I, I just appreciate you guys being civil headed and, and working together on this. So, thank you. Well, as far as the discussion going, I, if I'm understanding properly, it's either sent back to committee or amend a table. And in situations like that, in my years of experience, I think it's always best to send it back to committee because amendments sometimes <coughs> are understood. At the table. So, um, that's just my observation presiding at what's said so far. So whatever you folks, your pleasure is to proceed as uh, passage or to send back to committee. 
move to send back the committee. Is there a second? I'll second that. Second by Trustee Saylor. We understanding that we have a motion already and a second to approve the ordinance, but we will first be voting on the sending back to committee by uh, Trustee Duncan, second by Trustee Saylor. On the send back to committee, is there any discussion? John, question. Does that, does that leave him in limbo? I mean, the committee could bring back the same, I don't know, the committee could bring back the same thing and then we're right back to square one. So it really doesn't answer your question, does it? Uh, no, yeah, I don't know. but it's, it's uh, towards the answer. The, the ordinance is not in effect, so it really doesn't right. affect Mr. Norby at this point. So. Okay, I just, that was just my question. I didn't want to leave him hanging. Right. And, and I'll just make one comment. My motion is not for some ill-fated idea of trying to destroy or eliminate or bury this ordinance. It's just we're trying to do something where I think it's for all the property owners and all the I do, think, I do think we're going in the right direction because it's also going to give council a chance to address your questions. And I think that as we found out with the fire contracts, that it was good we did that. So, without objection, Mr. Onus? So, if he's got a customer through August, this one going back over, would it be voted until August? No. No. It will go to committee at their next meeting, which will be the end of this month. If that's what's set next week at the organization meeting. And then from there, we'll come back to the board with the committee's recommendation, the attorney's recommendation, and then we proceed from there. It'll be, it'll be brought back to the board for a vote long before August. Okay. I'll we'll let it next month. Yeah. Next month. So, any more discussion on the sending back the committee. Hearing no request to speak. All those in favor of sending back uh, the motion to send back the committee will signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? It goes back to committee. Thank you, gentlemen. And uh, if you, after next week's uh, organizational part of the meeting, then the official date, which I presume will still be on the usual fourth Tuesday, but it will be posted. So, so Mr. President, what is the process then going forward for this thing? There's a, a meeting to set the agenda at the next planning meeting. Is that the plan? The, the uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's going to be um, at the next pit meeting, which we'll know next week. This item will be addressed specifically in regards, I presume, to Mr. Uh, Trustee Duncan's concerns. Uh, the attorney, you'll have to either write a nice little writing or be there, you know, be part of that discussion on what you found. And then from there, the committee will send her back to the board. So the planning meeting is next week then? Is that we won't know until next week is the organizational meeting. That's when the, the official pit meeting will be decided. Okay, and the pit meeting, that's the planning and you got it. planning and property. And then that will come later in the month, the actual planning. More than likely the fourth Tuesday. And then uh, then depending on what that committee decides, it will be referred back to the board. Right. And that will be in May. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. Um, anything else, Chairman Martinson? Um, no, I would just like to at this time make a motion to approve the minutes. Motion. Second. Motion by Chairman Martinson, second by Trustee Bingham. Approve the minutes of the meeting. Any discussion? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, public safety. scissors otherwise. <laughs> um, I was there and I, I think that I won't put you on the spot that way. Um, 
Uh, we met on March 22nd. There were no public comments, no chairman comments. We met over at the fire department. Chief Iverson reviewed her monthly report. Um, Chief, I'm sorry, I forgot that I was going to be asked to do this. Any can you on the staffing update, how that's coming along? Um, so we get the motion. One of the part timers so has submitted a resolution. Okay. And then also anything on the squad car? How's the person status? Still waiting. Um, last estimation I got was within the next few weeks. Okay. We'll see those as soon as we All right. There were no other items brought before the committee. The fire department provided their monthly report. Then we had the presentation of the fire truck proposal followed by questions and discussion. President Zerflu made a motion to suspend rules to open conversation about proposed purchase of the new fire truck. There was engaging conversation and opportunity for questions and answers. Chief Arndt explained the cost associated with the new fire truck. He expressed his commitment to exploring any cost saving options and reporting back to the committee by April 6th. And we did get that forwarded in our emails, different, or Patrick. Was there, did I understand it right from Sue? We could, we were looking for a trade in value, but they don't provide one? Yeah, there's no trade in value. So any idea what the value might be? It depends where you go. Okay. I've got feelers out right now. Um, the salesman from Darley's put off the word. Um, Pittsfield's fire chief's putting off the word. And if that doesn't work, then we always have uh, the Wisconsin surplus auction site. So. Um, correspondence received, Chief Iverson received from a citizen that received her help when she was left out of the car and um, expressed her appreciation that our chief and our police department offered that as an option, so that was once a year. Um, we didn't have anything for agenda items for the next meeting. Any other items brought before the committee? Chief Arndt also invited anyone that might see the fire engines that the village currently has during the inspection. He explained different facets of each truck and different options that the fire department hopes to have on the new engine. We did not set our new, our next meeting date. And so I would ask for a motion to approve the minutes of our committee meeting. Second. Motion by Acting Chairman Grundon, second by Trustee Duncan to approve the minutes of the public safety meeting. Any discussion? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Chairman Martinson, Finance and Human Resources, please. Thank you. Um, the Finance and Human Resources Committee met on April 5th um, at 5 o'clock. Um, we did have um, some discussion regarding the um, applications that have been received at, so far for the village crew position. At that time, there were 14 applications. And um, as I understand, we now have um, over 50 applicants. Is that correct? Correct. Mike? Thank you. Um, so that we had a very good response to that. The closing date um, for the submitting of applications was on April 6th. So we'll be reviewing those and moving forward with that. Other than that, um, we reviewed the monthly bills, journal entries for the previous month, and the financial reports. And at this time, um, I would like to make a motion to approve payment of the bills. So okay. Did you say second? Yes, I said second. I got to wear my bell tools. <laughs> Motion by Chairman Markison, second by Trustee Duncan to approve payment of the bills. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And I'd also like to make a motion to approve the journal entries of from the previous month. Second. Motion by Chairman Markison, second by Trustee Duncan to approve the journal entries from the previous month. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Um, Trustee Mitchell did update the committee on the quotes received for the new fire truck. And um, those will be reviewed, obviously, at future meetings of the safety committee. At this time, I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes of the committee meeting. Second. 
Motion by Chairman Martinson, second by Trustee Duncan, approve the minutes of the FHR meeting. Any discussion? Hearing no request to speak, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That motion carries. Unfinished business? I have none. I don't think we left anything out there to bring back today. Uh, I have nothing on new business. And clerk treasure report? No. Nothing for no. Diane either. All right. Okay, the committee calendar, as I said, will be set next week. Uh, that will also be with the uh, changes that there may be in committee membership, uh, chairmen, uh, and the like. We'll also have a, uh, a rebriefing, so to speak, on the proper procedures of agendas. We do have uh, timelines that must be met by the committee chairs to get stuff on the board agenda. And uh, we are not going to give any ex uh, uh, permission to uh, forget about the timelines. Uh, because uh, we end up revising uh, agendas many times and meeting lists many times and it just does not look good personally that comes from me in my opinion uh, it lets us I think some people think when it's the fifth revision on a meeting sheet that we don't know what we're doing so and I think we know what we're doing when is that organizational meeting Next. Next Tuesday? yeah Tuesday that the agenda will be posted uh, Friday morning, correct? Yeah. Uh, Mike, do you have anything? Just like to say uh, to everyone in Port Edwards, uh, thank you for the warm welcome. People have been pouring in, and there was a nice uh, attendance tonight. And uh, um, I'm really looking forward to uh, my time here in Port, and uh, it's been great so far. Hello? No? Chief Iverson. Chief Iron. Okay, the last thing on the agenda, so Trustee Saylor and I can go home and watch the Yankees play the Red Sox, is a motion to adjourn. Moved. Second. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody else second the motion? Second. Second by Trustee Grant. We stand adjourned.